Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Canada. Puberty blockers in the heart of Canada. A small town named Maplewood was known for its picturesque landscapes and close-knit community. However, beneath its serene exterior, a significant conversation was brewing, one that revolved around the topic of puberty blockers and the rights of transgender youth. The story begins with a young teenager named Alex, who had always felt different from their peers. As Alex approached puberty, the anxiety of their changing body became overwhelming. They often found solace in the supportive environment of their family and friends, but the fear of not being recognized for who they truly were loomed large. In Maplewood, the local high school had recently introduced a program aimed at fostering inclusivity and understanding of LGBTQ issues. This initiative was spearheaded by a passionate teacher named Ms. Thompson, who believed that education was the key to acceptance. She organized workshops and discussions, inviting parents, students, and healthcare professionals to share their insights on gender identity and the medical options available for transgender youth. During one of these workshops, a local doctor, Dr. Patel, spoke about puberty blockers. He explained that these medications could provide young people like Alex with the time they needed to explore their gender identity without the distress of undergoing physical changes that did not align with their true selves. The room was filled with a mix of curiosity and concern as parents grappled with the implications of such treatments. As the discussions continued, it became clear that the search for understanding puberty blockers was driven by a desire for compassion and support. Many parents, initially hesitant, began to see the importance of allowing their children to express their identities freely. They learned that puberty blockers were not a permanent solution, but rather a temporary pause, giving youth the opportunity to make informed decisions about their bodies and futures. Alex's journey became a catalyst for change in Maplewood. Inspired by the conversations sparked in the community, they bravely shared their story at a town hall meeting. With heartfelt sincerity, Alex spoke about the fear and confusion they faced and how puberty blockers could offer them a lifeline. Their courage resonated with many, and the community began to rally around the idea of providing support for transgender youth. As the town embraced this new understanding, local healthcare providers began to collaborate with families to ensure that young people had access to the resources they needed. The search for knowledge about puberty blockers transformed into a broader movement advocating for the rights and well-being of all youth, regardless of their gender identity. In the end, Maplewood became a beacon of hope and acceptance, illustrating how open dialogue and education could lead to a more inclusive society. The story of Alex and the community's journey highlighted the importance of understanding and supporting the diverse experiences of young people ultimately driving the search for puberty blockers as a means of fostering acceptance and compassion in Canada.